So we're back at it again, roaming around iCast. We came upon this Oculus Rift type of thing, but it was for fishing. <laughs> All right, I got this, just like at home with the fishing pole. You know, and I'm trying to do my standard sidearm cat. What's back there? I saw something. Okay, look at here. Look, I got a nibble. I got a nibble. I got a bite. But what, I hear a bird behind me. Is that, look at the rocks in the tree. Ooh, how pretty. Where is my tackle box? So I left it back here. So, there's a lizard, and there's my tackle box. Let's get, well, apparently, oh, coming in hot. I caught one. I caught one. What you got, Teresa? I got a new sticker. We're back over here, annoying Marty again today. What's up? <laughs> More stickers. Yeah, man, roaming you guys around. Each other. You guys yeah. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the biggest guy you'll ever meet. That you don't even know. Kelly I'm nobody. Wilson. I'm nobody. <laughs> well, you're somebody now. Yeah. Kelly. All right. You recognize this guy from YouTube, Facebook. There he is. Another photo. So oh. Catch them all fishing right here. The man. Get him. <laughs> so we're at the Hobie booth. Here's a new Mirage Drive. Show him, Teresa. Y'all been asking me a million questions about this new Mirage Drive, and I got the man with me who knows everything about it, Morgan Prominence. What's up, man? What's up? How's it going? Hey, will this fit the old yes. boats? Yeah, it'll fit um, existing Mirage Drive kayaks, and it'll work with the, the same Mirage Drive uh, hull. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, we're you know our focus is on production for 2017 model kayaks, so the Mirage Drive. 180 as a standalone accessory is only going to be available in pr probably around the spring of 2017. So, that's so what it looks like. Um, the fins are pretty different. They have like a nylon reinforced front and back. They're a lot more stiff than the older fins. So what we've been able to do with that is get a smaller profile fin um, and get the same performance out of it. So this is your, this is going to be your turbo fin size. Um, and there's, you know, you can dial in the uh, the um, resistance of the fin up here, and then these these little parts down here are smaller. It's a completely new spine, and then you've got your shifters up here. The longer one being your reverse, and the shorter one being your forward. Um, these will also be color coded, uh, red for reverse, um, green for forward. I think there's little stickers that are going to be going on here. So other than that, it's a pretty similar design, same functionality, same resistance, same performance, glide technology with the Delrin bearings and stuff like that. So just have reverse, which is nice. Yeah, that's killer. Yeah. Now, what about when it's when you split the fins with the old ones? You know, we could drag them up on the beach. Yep. Can we still do that with this same one? Same thing. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the cool things about the Mirage Drive. Number one is it weighs. This drive weighs about just under eight pounds, 7.9 pounds, um, and then it's removable, so it's it's really easy. And then the other thing is, you know, shallow water environments, these fins are, are gonna kind of shed um, debris, loose debris that's in the water, and then they also fold up flat. Okay, so they're still flat. The hull. Yep. Oh, that was the big so, question. I mean, oh, yep, yeah. so same, same performance. What we wanted to do is make sure that this drive performs just as well or better than our uh, previous Mirage drive, so. Yeah. All the other models. Yes. They, okay, so there it is. There it is. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. 30 miles out. Yeah. With Ty. There you go. All right. Morgan said it. It's facts. It does all the same stuff, but we can go backwards now. We'll catch y'all later. iCast 2016. Woo! Hey, we got more iCast 2016 coming up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out.